I do have a two-fold question. How long does it take for a Meerschaum to fully color, usually, and does cake slow that process down? How do you ream out a Meerschaum properly? All right, so basically this has been covered also, how to clean a Meerschaum pipe. Um, I'll touch on it briefly here. Um, so how long does it take to color a Meerschaum? That's actually a good question. And that depends on the block. Um, some blocks are more porous than other. And there's actually seven, I believe, seven different grades of Meerschaum. Um, some are more porous than others. What I mean by that, the, the holes are bigger than others. So the bigger the holes, the, the more it's going to filter. And it depends on what you're smoking. If you're smoking dried Virginias and vapors and stuff like that, just a bur burlies, it's going to take very long to color that pipe because there's less goop. There's less stuff to, for that pipe to filter through. Now, if you're smoking goopy aromatics from Sutliff and, and Lane, yeah, it's going to color pretty quick. It's going to color pretty quick if you have a good quality block. Um, sometimes you have a, a, a not so good quality block and it'll color in certain areas and it'll get blotchy. Um, but it's completely random. It's completely random. So if you're really interested in coloring a block, smoke aromatics. That's, that's, that's a good, where, good place to start. And how does the cake slow down? You shouldn't, be, you shouldn't have cake in there to begin with. Um, the cake will slow it down because it's it's preventing it from being it's preventing the you're preventing the pipe from filtering all that stuff into the pipe. So and all that's going to come through the the mouthpiece and into your mouth, and you're going to have a hot, steamy, unflavorful smoke. So you have to keep that reamed out. So don't worry about the cake if you're keeping the cake out of there. Cake is not um it's not a factor. Um, as long as you're keeping the cake out of there, but it will prevent it from coloring if you have cake in there. But you're gonna have bad, you're gonna have bad smokes, and you're gonna have, you're not gonna have good smokes, and it's gonna irritate your mouth, and you're not gonna want to smoke it to begin with. And unfortunately, that's what happens to a lot of pipe smokers who venture into Meerschaum. They let that cake build up, and they're like, "Well, this pipe ain't smoking good no more. Ah, uh, uh, Meerschaum's not for me." I don't. And in the meantime, they just they just don't know that you got to keep that cake out of there. And um, I, I am I am seeing some some positive comments here or there where I have they have took my advice and they're, they're cleaning it out and they're getting these magical smokes. So, you know, I'm not just blowing literally hot air on here. I'm telling you the God's honest truth. Clean those Meerschaums the hell out. Just just do it. Just do it. And you'll be fine. Stupid question. There's no, there's no stupid questions. You might look stupid by not watching older videos, and I have to repeat it. But there's no such thing as a stupid question. Could you use tobacco pipe tobacco in rollies? I mean, I'm sure you could, but would it be smokable? I have tried that. I've tried it with the the raw filter rollers, you know, I've tried it with that, and there's just not enough tobacco lit at the same time to get the flavor out of it. So you have a pipe like this, and you have this whole area lit at the same time. You have the mixture in here. You have all different types of tobacco lit at the same time. And if you have, you know, a little cigarette's worth, you know, like a, uh, you know, this pencil here, you have that much tobacco lit you're gonna have a couple little pieces and he, i've ground it up i put it in a coffee grinder briefly like i said i've tried so much stuff and and it's still it's just not it's not there and then you're you're adding the paper to the equation and it's comes off as hot air it basically comes off as hot air so you really don't want to be doing that just get get yourself a cheap corn cob try it out don't worry about rolling anything. That's 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 for the 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 cannabis people, the 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 weed people, if they want to do it. But just just get yourself a corn cob. They're dirt cheap. I have the how-to videos on here. I did the chronicles of pipe smoking uh, from start to finish. So 
There's a playlist on, on the on the channel for that. There's a playlist for informational stuff that I tend to repeat in these questions and answer sessions. Please go watch them. And I have um, a playlist on pipe tobacco reviews if you're interested in that and the playlist for these questions and answers.